So in this video, I'm going to be talking about this uh, M.2 NVMe to uh, PCIe, uh, either Gen 4 or Gen 3, depends on the model you pick. It runs at X1. It has an X1 connector over there. Uh, it's by a company called J. I think it's spelled, pronounced J. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I bought like a few of their products before, uh, like a RAM eat sinks and some other stuff. Uh, they're pretty good. So uh, I wanted to get this uh, adapter to a uh, motherboard that doesn't have an M.2 slot, but it does have uh, an X1. It has like uh, this motherboard has an X16 slot, which will be utilized possibly for a graphics card. So uh, I didn't want to get uh, an adapter that's going to be uh, using that one. And it also has uh, just another uh, X1 uh, slot, so uh, this would be uh, ideal for this thing. Now I know it's not going to be uh, using the full bandwidth of an M.2, like uh, even if you use like an M.2 Gen 3, usually those uh, can get up to uh, 3,000, uh, 3,500 uh, mega transfers, uh, yeah, mega, mega byte. Uh, but yeah, this thing would not be able to uh, use that because it only used X1, so it's probably going to get up to uh, 1,000 or 1,600, that's what I read about it, which is uh, it's more than enough because, uh, as I said, this motherboard is not going to have like uh, an M.2 slot, so that's the only way to get like an M.2 to work on... Uh, on this motherboard but it's still it's better than nothing it's better than using the regular SATA uh, SSD those uh, two and a half that uses the SATA cables and uh, SATA connector on your motherboard it's better than that that way you could still hopefully I mean I need, still need to see if this uh, if this motherboard supports uh, any M.2 protocol anyway so this still not might be a this still might not work on the, that particular motherboard that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, just uh, just uh, throw like an M.2 to this adapter and put it in the X1 connector that I mentioned and to see if it's uh, hopefully if it's going to work. I don't know. So uh, we will see. So yeah, you have the specification on the back over here and it says the transmission rate is up to uh, 8 uh, Gbps, 16 Gbps. We will have to check it out, like run a crystal disk uh, mark, assuming that it will work well. And the motherboard is going to detect this uh, this M.2 that is going to have that M.2 protocol integrated into it. And uh, we'll see which kind of speeds we get. Uh, let me just uh, open it up and unbox this thing so uh, we can take a closer look. Okay, so I got this thing out of the box and uh, straight away you get the adapter. Uh, it comes without the PCIe, PCI bracket, PCIe bracket, doesn't matter. It's not installed, but you do get it on the side over here. Uh, you also get like a screwdriver to install this thing. Uh, you get uh, screws. And uh, yeah, this thing does not come with the standoff installed. I'm just, I assume it's right in there. Yeah, I can see it. You get like a standoff in there and a small screw to screw it on into the standoff. And you also get a thumb screw for the PCI slot. And uh, yeah, straight away I can see that uh, this adapter supports M.2. It says uh, NVMe Pro over here, PCIe Express, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, you get that X1 connector. So. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you, all you have to do is just install your NVMe drive over here. Uh, I'm going to be installing the standoff in there soon. And uh, yeah, you just screw it on from the from behind, I guess. Uh, that's where it's going to go. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's all you'll have to do. But uh, let me just fit like an M.2 real quick. Uh, I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, so I installed the adapter with an NVMe that I had uh, inside of it. The NVMe is just a Gen 3, but obviously it's not using the Gen 3 speeds. As you can see them over here, it caps to uh, 8 gigabit per second. Uh, 
800, um, 890 uh, megabyte uh, read mm -hmm. and uh, 864 write. So yeah, these are the speeds that you should expect with that. Uh, yeah, these are the, the specification of my NVMe drive. So it uh, reads it over here. Uh, NVMe Express standard. Uh, yeah, doesn't say the transfer mode. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, the thing is, it's working. Uh, so yeah, if your motherboard, so you see this motherboard does not have a NVMe slot where it's supposed to be over here or anywhere else on this motherboard. This is the A A A thirty uh, A three hundred and twenty dash F. This does not come with an NVMe uh, slot on the motherboard, but it does support the NVMe protocol. If you're gonna try to use an NVMe <coughs> on uh, the PCIe lanes, uh, slots, whatever. Uh, but yeah, if you want the higher speed, then you should put it uh, instead of the graphics card. If you're using uh, like an APU or something and you don't need a graphics card, like a discrete graphics card, but if you are using a graphics card and you're gonna have to get like an adapter like this, that's gonna utilize the X1 slot on, this, uh, on the motherboard. But uh, yeah, this is the adapter that I got, and I guess I, I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be selling this thing, so I'm just going to throw this uh, adapter in. I just wanted to check if this motherboard does support the uh, protocol, and it does, and it's working. Uh, not that the rate, not the, the speed uh, of the NVMe, the rated speed of the NVMe drive, but hey, it is what it is. At least, at least it's working, and it's still faster than the regular uh, 2.5, 2.5 uh, inch. Uh, SSD drives, right? So yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video about this uh, product, the J uh, M.2 to uh, PCIe X1 adapter. Mm -hmm. I hope you uh, found it informative, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.